Antarctica, a land we think of as frozen, lifeless, buried beneath kilometers of ice, but travel back 90 million years, and the white wastes melt away, rain-soaked forests shimmer beneath a low golden sun. The air is thick with heat and the cries of ancient giants. Titan-necked sauropods wade through fern valleys. Feathered hunters glide between conifers. For six months, the sun never sets. Then twilight swallows the world for six more. Through the endless night, they survive by memory and warmth. This is the forgotten Antarctica, born of fire, ruled by reptiles, destined for silence when giants walked the ice. Dawn breaks across a land that never truly sleeps. Mist hangs over the valley, clinging to leaves still wet from an endless night. As the first shafts of pale gold light slice through the canopy, the forest stirs, cicadas trill, winged lizards take to the air, and the ground trembles. Towering sauropods emerge from the fog their skins slick with dew, feeding on pine needles as long as a man's arm. Nearby, a flock of small feathered herbivores scatter as a shadow glides overhead, a giant pterosaur searching for warmth on the rising thermals. In this world, day is brief and precious. Life awakens with fierce urgency, racing the clock of light. For in Antarctica's Cretaceous summer, every dawn could be the last before the long twilight returns. Twilight has come early. The low sun bleeds across the horizon and the forest sinks into blue shadow. Above the valley, curtains of green aurora ripple like ghosts in the polar sky. In the half-light, predators awaken. A pair of Cryolophosaurus moves through the mist, their crests glinting with reflected light from the heavens. Each step leaves a print steaming in cold air. Ahead, a young hadrosaur strays from its herd, unaware of the eyes upon it. The silence is absolute, until a shriek splits the night. Muscles coil, tails lash, and the hunt explodes beneath the lights of the southern sky. For a moment, life and death dance together beneath the shimmering veil of the aurora. Deep beneath Antarctica's emerald forests, the earth burns. Rivers of magma churn under the crust, feeding the volcanoes that warm this polar world. Above, the ground trembles as geysers hiss and vents release clouds of sulfur. Herds of dinosaurs move carefully across steaming plains, their calls echoing through the haze. To them, the heat is life, each vent a reminder that fire sustains their frozen edge of the world. Yet even here, change is constant. Ash drifts through the canopy like dark snow, and the skies begin to dim. The heart of the continent beats with power and warning, for in the depths of this volcanic the paradise, the seeds of its future ice are already stirring. The sun sets and does not return. Weeks pass in twilight, then months in full darkness. The polar night has arrived, and with it, a cold that even these ancient giants have never known. Breath turns to mist, rivers slow to ice. The dinosaurs huddle together, their massive bodies generating precious warmth in the freezing air. Some migrate south, 
Following the last fading light, others remain, enduring through instinct and memory. Above them, the aurora dances in silence, the only light for thousands of miles. In the darkness, hearts beat slower. Metabolism slows. They enter a kind of waking sleep, neither alive in the way some are new, nor truly dormant. They simply wait and hope that dawn will come again. When dawn finally returns, it reveals a transformed world. The ocean, once teeming with life, now gleams with plates of floating ice. Beneath the surface, the ancient rhythms continue, slow, cold, but unstoppable. Giant marine reptiles glide through the dark water, their breath bursting through gaps in the forming ice. Ammonites drift in silent spirals. Plesiosaurs hunt in the twilight depths, their long necks weaving through forests of kelp. But the freeze is spreading. Ice creeps outward from the shore, locking the waves in place, sealing the surface layer by layer. The ocean resists, but winter is patient. By the time the long night returns again, the sea will be silent. A mirror of pale blue glass stretching to the horizon, holding its secrets beneath. Seasons blur into centuries, and the warmth of the hothouse world begins to fade. The volcanoes quiet, the skies clear, and with them, the heat escapes. The first snowfalls come softly, drifting through the forests like whispers of change. Trees that once dripped with life now bow beneath white weight. Herds press southward, searching for warmth that no longer exists. Rivers slow, freeze, and vanish under glassy crusts of ice. What began as a paradise of green now turns to a mirror of silence. And the giants that ruled it stand shrouded in snow. Unaware that their age is ending. Time passes, not in years or centuries, but in silence. The forests are gone, the rivers sealed, the great beasts buried beneath endless ice. Pressure and time reshape their world. Wood becomes stone, bone becomes memory. Beneath two miles of frozen weight, the ghosts of the Cretaceous endure, perfectly preserved in a world without breath. For millions of years, they sleep in darkness, while above them, the winds carve white deserts where life once bloomed. But even the ice remembers. In its frozen heart, the story of heat and giants still whispers. waiting for a time when human hands will listen. Millions of years later, the world has changed beyond recognition. The ice that entombed the giants now draws explorers from across the globe. In a land of wind and endless white, a team of scientists carves through the permafrost, their drills echoing where thunder once roared. Beneath meters of ancient ice, a curve of bone appears. Not a rock, not a dream. A memory of flesh and fire. As light touches the fossil, time itself seems to exhale. The beasts that once walked these valleys return in imagination and data, their stories revived by the patience of human hands. The discovery is more than bones. It is the Earth remembering its own past. Antarctica holds its secrets well. From a world of fire and forests to a desert of endless snow, it has watched eons rise and fall in silence. The bones of its giants remind us that change is the only constant, that even the coldest places 
were once alive with heat and motion. Today, as the ice melts and the seas rise, the past whispers its warning. The planet remembers balance, but it does not forgive haste. The same warmth that once nurtured dinosaurs now returns, faster and fiercer than before. And as we look upon the shining white of the last untouched frontier, we are not just seeing ice, we are seeing time itself melting beneath our feet. The age of giants has ended, but their story has only just begun.